I want to talk about a couple of boundary conditions for data structures. And there are five boundary conditions that you need to be worried about regardless of the data structure that you're working on. It's true for a linked list, it's true for a hash, it's true for a tree, it's true for anything. The first is what if you have an empty data structure? So if I'm trying to, for example, remove an element from a data structure, remove an element from a linked list, and my linked list is empty, what am I going to do? So you have to think about that. When I'm going to add something, how does it change the addition if the data structure is empty versus if there's something already there? So an empty data structure. What if there's a single element in the data structure? So if I'm adding something to a data structure that has just one element in it, how does that change what I'm going to do? Sometimes it makes it different. If I'm removing something and I've only got one element, that means I'm going to go to an empty list. So now I have to worry about both of these. If I'm adding or removing from the beginning of the list, of the data structure. So if I'm adding to the beginning of the data structure, what do I have to be wary about? I have to be wary about the head and how I'm going to handle that. If I'm adding or removing from the end of the data structure. This will come up a little bit later when we look at a specific pointer that we include to reduce complexity. And then the final case is just working in the middle. And this tends to be the most trivial case because that's the one where we're kind of thinking about it. That's the one that we're going to do most operations on. Okay. So these five boundary conditions are really important. Every time you work on a method in your linked list, add first, add last, remove first, remove last, peak first, peak last, all of those methods, every time you, add, you work on one of those methods, you need to think about each of these five conditions and say, how does it affect it if I've got an empty data structure? Am I going to get a null pointer exception? How is it affected if I've got a single element in the data structure? Am I going to mess things up?